Hey y'all, it's Miss Kat and Miss Alicia. And today we're here to talk about planting seeds outside. We've got our garden plan and we've started some seeds inside, but now that it's March, we get to sow some seeds outside. So planting <laughs> seeds outside is real simple. What's our first step, Miss Alicia? Well, our first step is prepping the bed. And as you can see, we've got some weeds in this bed that we need to take care of. So first we take the weeds out and then we add in our nutrients to help our plants grow nice and strong. Miss Kat's got some beautiful compost you've been working on, right? Yes, ma'am, since last fall and it's ready to go in. So after we get the compost on top, what is our next step, Miss Kat? Well, you grab your seeds that you want to plant and you turn over that packet and you read the back of the packet. It'll tell you when to plant them, how deep to plant them, and how far apart to, to place them. Now it's March, so we're gonna be doing cool season crops. Today we're gonna be planting shelling peas and radishes. Now it's time to plant our seeds. So, so let's, let's get, get planting. planting. So now we have our beautiful bed prepped and ready to go. So let's start seeding. We've got our shelling peas here, and on the back it says you can plant from March to May and from July to August. Um, you wanna plant them one inch deep and two to three inches apart. So it's a great idea when planting to use a yardstick and teachers, this is a great way to teach skip counting for your students. When planting seeds, your finger, the tip of your finger, right here, you have a little bit of your own measuring stick. This first digit is about one inch. For the little hands, it might be a little deeper, but you can see about, you can even measure it out on your yardstick and see how much <laughs> one inch is. Then you just take your seed. All right, we're gonna start way over here our beautiful fluffy soil with our beautiful compost. And we'll stick a one inch hole there and we'll pop a seed in. And now you wanna be sure to tap the seed down real tight so that it gets a good hold in. Now you wanna do them every two inches so the next seed will be at the three inch mark. And then the five inch mark. I'm gonna come from the back, Miss Cat, and meet you in the middle. Very good. So we just keep planting till we have a nice row. Now these seeds like to climb up tall, so we are gonna put a trellis at the back of this bed to give it a nice sturdy place to climb up on. All right, friends, now we're gonna plant some radishes. Radishes grow so fast. I think these only take about 21 days from seed to radish, so they're so fun to plant. i give you some, Miss Pat. Thank you. And the bag says here to plant it a half inch deep and one inch apart. So that's not very deep or very not. far apart. One so. inch apart. Sometimes it's easier whenever you're planting so close together to make a little furrow with your finger. Mm -hmm. Furrow is a funny word for just making a little ditch in the soil with your finger. So just draw a line in the soil and sprinkle your seeds about an inch apart. Make your little furrow about a half inch deep and then you'll be good to go. And now, just like with our peas, we want to cover them up and tamp them in. Press it down like you're tucking them in for bed. So they'll be all safe and secure in the beautiful soil. Nice. All right. Now we want to grab our support for the peas. Yes. All right, friends, and our last step is to water in our plants. 
We want to give them a good drink so they can get off to a good start. And don't forget to keep checking them and keep watering them throughout the growing season. A great way to check if your beds are dry is to use your finger and poke it in the soil a couple of inches. And if it feels dry, it needs water. So that's it. That's how you start seeds outdoors. Join us next time when we talk about transplanting those seedlings you started outdoors. See you in the garden. Bye.